and um, hello to all the fans joining us around the world tonight. I have so much gratitude to welcome all of you this evening. This is by far the biggest crowd I've had in a few years. <laughs> Miss that. I'm so proud to be here tonight to share this film with you. It's possible because of the incredible talent of the woman standing she was. <laughs> the women who were standing <laughs> next to me. Irene Taylor, please, once again. Celine Dion sheds tears on stage as she introduces her new documentary, I'm Celine Dion. Progen Media, many thanks to you wherever you're watching in from. So an emotional Celine Dion was handed a tissue by her son, Rain Charles, as she delivered a speech on stage during a screening of her new film at New York City's Alice Tully Hall on Monday. So tears was visible as Celine Dion told the audience at the close of her remarks, Thank you to you all from the bottom of my heart for being part of my journey. This movie is my love letter to you and hope to see you all again very, very soon. She said, prompting the audience to erupt in cheers and applause. The Canadian singer was diagnosed with the rare autoimmune neurological disorder in 2002, but has since admitted she was grappling with a condition in secrecy for nearly two decades before going public that December. She has since revealed why she was reluctant to confirm her diagnosis while secretly battling the condition for almost 17 years. Her battle with the condition will be laid bare in forthcoming documentary, I'm Celine Dion, as and as she discusses her reason for withholding the diagnosis in a scene from the new film. Addressing the cameras, uh, Celine Dion admitted being apprehensive about making the announcement while cancelling her carriage uh, to a world tour in December 2002 because she was not capable of being the best of her. Speaking to E! News on the red carpet, uh, Alice told us all as the documentary uh, was premiered on Monday evening, she added, it's not about choosing what you have, it's dealing with what's happening. The singer also admitted she hopes her willingness uh, to be open will inspire others to seek help. I hope that this will give them wings and strength to reach out and talk to people and say it's worth it. Progen Media. I'm chair in autoimmune neurology at the University of Colorado and Shoots Medical Campus. <laughs> and thanks to you, my fans. been a gift beyond measure. Your never-ending love and support over all these years have delivered me to this moment tonight. One of the stories you will hear from me in this movie, as I was reading, learning about my condition, I compared myself And I'm not saying this because we're in New York, but I compared myself to an apple. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sounds like we made it up, but I, I did, and I was in Las Vegas. So. <sighs> I don't want you 
I don't want you to, when I said to myself that I compared myself to an apple from a tree, I don't want you to wait in line anymore if I don't have any shiny apples for you. So, a couple of days ago, I saw a message from a fan, and it said, We're not here for the apple. We're here for the tree. I hope to see you all again very, very soon.